Hello there, hey once again. This is Lewis here, got another quick tutorial. Quick simple task, real quick. We'll go ahead and uh, jump right into it. I'm gonna be showing you how to turn off your Windows updates right away. So Sometimes that could be really annoying too. If you're in the middle of working, all of a sudden your, your computer starts to download your updates. And, it could really slow down your computer a lot so okay first we're gonna go to start settings then once you're in the settings settings options you go ahead and uh, click right here on Windows and security there we go you go ahead and go to the uh, advanced option right here you make sure everything pretty much says off if everything says off you're all set you exit out of that you're gonna go ahead and click your <clears throat> windows key plus the R and you're gonna go ahead and type that in right there services dot M S C then you'll go ahead and uh, press enter once you're right here in this option right here where you where you have all of your services that that are basically running at the moment you're gonna go ahead and look for background intelligent transfer service which is right there you don't even need to scroll down it's like the tenth option or so something like that you go ahead and uh, double click on that and right here you're gonna go ahead and click disable you go ahead and click apply and okay right there in the same services um, option there you go ahead and scroll down to Windows Update. Windows Update, so it's going to be. There we go, right here. You find it, and it's going to be, by default, it's going to say manual. You go ahead and disable that option as well. And once you've, you, you've already put that in disable you go ahead and click apply and OK once again then once again you go ahead and access that same one and then you stop that service and there you go that's it okay so once you've already done those two right there you exit real quick and then you click your Windows plus R again. You're gonna click MMC. There we go. MMC for your management console. All right, there we go. You can go ahead and down. Uh, make that a little bigger there okay you're gonna go to file add and remove then you go ahead and get this pop-up right here then you're gonna go ahead and uh, add the uh, group policy there you go group policy object editor you go ahead and double click on that then you click OK alright it's there you're gonna go ahead and click that little down uh, arrow there you go to computer configuration administrative templates there right there
Windows components and then you're going to look for Windows update and there you go okay once you're there in the Windows update section there you're going to look for an option that says configure automatic updates there you go that's it you go ahead and uh, double click it and you're gonna go ahead and enable this because otherwise it's not gonna this is where we're actually gonna go ahead and uh, and configure the the option you know to notify you first you go ahead and click enable and then right here in this little drop down arrow you go ahead and click where it says notify for download and auto install you go ahead and select that you click apply and ok and that's it you go ahead and save the uh, the changes you go ahead and save the settings there you can go ahead and just leave it as is that's it you go ahead and uh, verify that it's it's been done you go back to the uh, management console Group policy. Finish. Okay. Com computer configuration administrative templates. Windows components. And you go down again to Windows Update just to verify. Windows Update. There we go. configure automatic updates and, and there you go see that's the change that we did notify for downloading and auto install so you go ahead and exit out of that you can go ahead and just uh, replace it that's it so, that was just a uh, quick verification that the uh, changes you you've done already were actually saved and that's pretty much it you can go ahead and uh, click restart and uh, that's it and, uh, right here you can go ahead and check that again windows and security option you go back to advanced updates you see all of those options are off again that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching another one of my tutorials and uh, you have a great one I'll be uploading some more soon so please keep an eye out for more quick tasks and uh, quick tutorials have a great one again from Lewis Geeks World